Harvard scientists have discovered a revolutionary method that rejuvenates cells in just a week. Tesla's robots have gotten their first jobs with the company and have already had their first day of work. Elon Musk started an artificial intelligence company called XAI, and OpenAI has set up a team to oversee the superintelligence. That, plus a new humanoid robot from China, how the Hollywood actor strike is linked to artificial intelligence, and other high-tech news in one video. Welcome to the Pro Robots channel. I'm the host, Connor, and I'm here with another exciting episode to tell you all about the world of high technology. Subscribe, hit the like button, and share with your friends. Unless you're like my brother Gabe, because he doesn't have any friends. Hello darkness, my old friend. Tesla has sent the first batch of Optimus robots to its enterprises. However, they aren't going to work in production, but in car dealership as the company plans to increase attractiveness and attendance. The humanoid robot Optimus began to appear in Tesla stores in North America, and these are not mannequins or early prototypes, but already small-scale versions of the robot themselves. It is not known whether the robots will be allowed to move around or do something within their exhibition stands, or whether they'll just stand still like statues. Recall that Elon Musk wants the Tesla bot to be a universal robot that anyone can have at home. Also, Elon Musk plans the company future mainly around the production of robots, not cars. And perhaps they'll have their own artificial intelligence in addition to the adapted autopilot system from the company's cars. This is supported by the unveiling of another Elon Musk company, XAI, which has been rumored for a long time, but only recently confirmed. It's been announced that Musk's new AI company will attempt to understand the nature of life, the universe, and everything. The staff has already recruited developers from teams at OpenAI, Google Research, Microsoft Research, and DeepMind. Musk will lead XAI personally. It's still unclear where exactly the development of artificial intelligence in the company will begin. The goal of understanding the nature of the universe is a beautiful concept, but rather vague. And it is hard to believe that Musk will not use the developments of XAI for his business, in particular his companies Tesla and SpaceX. What do you think? What exactly will be the first algorithm created in the walls of XAI, and what will it be able to do? Write your ideas in the comments. Sensational news came from the world of biotechnology. Harvard scientists have developed a chemical cocktail that can reverse aging and restore youth to living cells in a week. This method is an alternative to gene therapy to fight aging. In essence, it reprograms cells into a younger state through exposure to chemicals. At the same time, scientists seek to prevent excessive rejuvenation of old cells to minimize the associated risk. The scientists analyzed thousands of molecules to achieve their goals and identified six chemical cocktails that restored the entire genome profile to a youthful state in less than a week. If successful in human trials, the method could be revolutionary, allowing rejuvenation by taking just one pill. Welcome to the future. In recent years, humanoid robots have been appearing like ticks on dogs, which, by the way, indicates sufficient maturity of the technology. Another novelty was GR1 from the Chinese company Fourier Intelligence. Having shown the robot, the developers said that they would produce 100 such machines by the end of the year. The robot didn't come from scratch, though. Fourier has long been engaged in the development of rehabilitation technologies and physiotherapeutic devices, namely exoskeletons. In fact, the exoskeleton of lower limbs for rehabilitation of people after accidents should already solve many problems associated with walking humanoid robots. And by the way, the first job of GR1 should be to help in rehabilitation centers. The robot is 165 centimeters tall, weighs 55 kilograms, can walk about 5 kilometers per hour, and carry up to 50 kilograms of weight. In other words, it looks just like me. The bot's joints provide 40 degrees of freedom, which is comparable to Tesla and figure robots. Powerful electric motors should allow the robot to lift and carry bedridden patients and heavy medical equipment. The robot, once it has a face display, can also serve as a companion to the elderly. GR1 can be programmed to sit, stand, jump, and its arms can lift dishes and other tools, as well as perform tasks desired by the engineer. Back to the 100 robots due to hit the market this year. For now, they still won't be full-featured general-purpose robots, but just hardware and software platforms for basic capabilities that will be dispersed among various research labs. Hopefully, this approach will accelerate the development of the useful applications for the bot. OpenAI has created a special team to control superintelligent artificial intelligence. The goal of the new team is to develop methods for controlling and managing AI systems. 
It will be headed by OpenAI co-founder and chief scientist Ilya Sutskiver, who is behind the development of the GPT-4. The company is confident that artificial intelligence, capable of surpassing human intelligence, will appear in the next 10 years. For now, the Super Alignment team will prepare for this future by utilizing the best engineers and 20% of OpenAI's computing power. The approach will be to build an automated research system that will follow other neural networks to create controllable algorithms that will definitely not get out of control. Definitely. Never ever. Engineers are sure that neural networks themselves will be able to create such an AI faster and more efficiently. Humans will only be involved in evaluating the results of AI tuning. Do you think we'll be able to trust such a system in the future? It also recently became known that OpenAI has open access to GPT-4 via API, but not yet for everyone and not for free. For now, developers who have purchased the paid version of GPT-4 can get access. For new registered developers, the company plans to open API access by the end of July and then will gradually remove restrictions of other categories and users. In total, millions of developers have requested access to the GPT-4 API since March. ChatGPT can generate text and accept images and text as input. However, the ability to recognize images is not yet available for all clients. For example, OpenAI is testing it with Be My Eyes, an app that allows blind people to connect via video call with volunteers, or in this case, artificial intelligence, to better understand the world around them. The Screen Actors Guild has joined the Hollywood screenwriter strike over artificial intelligence, or rather, the way that movie bosses have proposed its use. Thanks to the development of generative AI models, Big wigs want things like scanning the background actors to further utilize them in any of their projects until the end of time without any approval or extra fees. In addition to putting such actors out of work, in the event that one of them becomes famous, their scanned image could also be used for free, luring people into movie theaters with the star name. Very sneaky. And though AI will create many jobs in the future, as experts promise, some people are losing their jobs right now because of these technological advancements. China is the first country in the world to successfully launch an oxygen methane powered rocket. Zutia 2 successfully entered orbit and even delivered the first cargo there, as reported by private aerospace developer Landspace. The launch of the two stage rocket with a payload capacity of six tons was carried out from the Jiuquan spaceport in the Gobi Desert in the northwest China. Thus, China has pulled ahead in the global race to build a workable methane oxygen fueled rocket technology. Methane engines have high performance and low cost, making them very attractive to the space industry. Recall that this year, Relativity Space with its Terran 1 rocket and SpaceX with its Starship, as well as Landscape, were defeated in this field. A UN summit called AI for Good was held in Geneva, where robots distinguished themselves with their own statements, each in their own way. For example, Sophia stated that robots can lead people more effectively than humans themselves because they have no biases or emotions that can influence their decisions. And the Amica robot, when asked about trust in robots, stated that it must be earned, not given as a gift. At the same time, the robot noted that it is important to build trust on transparency. Recall that problems with transparency and trust led to the creation of the law in the EU requiring neural network creators to explain how they make their decisions. The problem is that developers themselves would like to know the same thing. Robotics enthusiast Thomas Burns created a retro-futuristic animatronic robot out of an old TV, an Arduino, and Amazon's Alexa voice assistant. The basic idea behind the device was to design a robot that would somehow make Alexa's voice visible and had a pair of eyes for realism. The eyes themselves were printed on a 3D printer and smart cameras with facial recognition were embedded in them for an immersive effect. In our opinion, it turned out pretty cute. Stanford University has identified the vulnerability of generative models of artificial intelligence, such as ChatGPT and MidJourney. As we know, such algorithms require data for training. Now, the most accessible ways to obtain them are the bottomless internet and generation with the help of the same advanced big AI models. The latter is the easiest way, but as it turns out, there's a catch. Models trained on AI-generated data, be it text or images, tend to go crazy after about five training cycles. That is, when trained repeatedly on AI-generated data, the results will degrade rather than improve. 
It turns out that if you leave the neural network to itself, it will not become super intelligent, but will slip into madness, or at least from a human point of view. Japanese startup Yugo, which is developing a robot of the same name, has unveiled a solution for building patrols that combine a robot and a Skydio drone. The robot can automatically transport the drone to a specific location on site, and the quadricopter can automatically take off and land from a base on the bot. This saves the drone charge and makes the robot more versatile. The two-armed Yugo can be controlled remotely, but it can also do some things on its own thanks to artificial intelligence-based learning. However, what exactly those things are, the developers haven't said. Power Robotics has presented an updated robot, TiaGo Pro. The machine has received an improved design of hands with fully adjustable torque. TiaGo Pro not only manipulates different objects, but also safely interacts with people. The robot is positioned as an assistant in hospitals and nursing homes. Power Robotics has been developing robots for a long time and the company has a rather interesting humanoid robot in addition to Tiago. It's just a pity that the implementation of these developments is so slow. Japanese startup Telexistence, which develops robot for servicing retail stores, attracts another round of investment for $170 million. The company's new partners are SoftBank Robotics Group and Foxconn. Interestingly, the robot is planned to be introduced not only in Japan, but also in North America. The money received will be used for the mass productions of robots. Romola, a legged robotics lab, showed off the training of its bipedal robot Artemis for RoboCup, a robot soccer competition. The goal is to create fully autonomous robot soccer players that could beat humans by 2050. See more videos from RoboCup in our Telegram channel, where you can also join the discussion about robots and other technology of the future. Subscribe to the channel and don't miss new videos from the world of high technology.